All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And in this one, it is time to go over some new update things. And we have a ton of things to talk about in today's video. I'm talking about a possible new bow and arrow type item that was revealed to us by Fortnite, a golden umbrella that was also revealed, and even things like the possibility of an animated type of item coming out. Just so many new things to talk about, guys. It's seriously going to be a very fun video. But yeah, guys, if you do enjoy the video or find it helpful and you want to help support me, you can do so by using code the Lamaser in the item shop and shout out to these people on screen for using my code in the shop and tweeting me a picture of them using my code to my Twitter account the Lamaser as you guys know I sometimes may choose people that tweet me a picture of them using my code to my Twitter account and shout out their Twitter names in a video but overall guys huge thanks to all of you who have been using my code and also guys be sure to hit that like button down below if you've been having a ton of fun with season 8 I know I have let's see if we can get 5,000 likes for season 8 and also comment down below which is the better like tier 1 skin from the the battle pass black heart or hybrid i think that's a good question so whichever it is comment down below let's see which one wins out but getting into it here guys with the first thing i want to talk about let's talk about a new item that was revealed to us within the like season eight well it's like the loading screen when you load up the game so you may or may not know what i'm talking about here maybe you noticed it maybe you didn't but either way it's like a really you know it's an important thing to take note of because it looks like a brand new item that isn't in the game currently well at least it isn't as i I'm making this video so yeah guys definitely something we need to talk about but yeah as I said if you want to take a look at this item for yourself or like what was shown to us you simply want to take a look at the loading screen that's like when you're loading up Fortnite and stuff like that the one for season 8 also I think if you like change your game mode you can see it as it's you know the loading screen between the menus in Fortnite but yeah if you take a look at this there's a ton of things to take note of but the thing I want to focus on is looking at this character right here and what she's holding as you can see guys that is a bow and arrow so yeah guys and i'm not talking about the crossbow type items that have been in the game a bunch this is very clearly like a more bow and arrow type item so it's hard to say exactly how it may work and honestly this is the only thing we have to talk about with this but still i would assume that it's a new weapon that would be coming out soon i mean it's very prominent in the loading screen and it's definitely not a pickaxe or anything like that so i would assume it would be a weapon now with that since we already did have the crossbow type items wouldn't it have to maybe work differently or maybe they're planning on bringing it back and this is like a reskin version of it but I still think maybe that's not the case now one guess that I could have about this that would maybe make this stick out from you know the other items is what if it's an explosive bolt bow and arrow like for example maybe on the end of the arrows they're like little explosive things so you fire them at enemies and maybe it can help take down structures or you can like stick it to enemies and it does a decent amount of damage if you hit an enemy with it I don't know guys those are just ideas but by far guys this is an interesting secret to take note of so yeah guys let's keep it going here with the next thing I want to cover in this video. This one actually has to do with a new type of item and as I said in the intro it's technically like an animated type of item. Now it is a type of item. I know I've said that a bunch but I mean like it's not a new item it's just a new type of item. But this special like type of item has to do with wraps. And also I guess we'll add into it um sprays as well as something that this sort of you know affects too. So basically guys with season 8 something that they added was that certain items can come animated now I will say that that's different from reactive it even has like a different symbol I'm pretty sure and it specifically says for certain items that they are indeed animated so yeah guys supposedly animated wraps could be coming soon according to well something in game so if you want to see this thing yourself it's very simple you simply go into your locker go over to your wraps and then if you go up to the, like the uh, top section where you have the categories if you go all the way over to the right and click that section there is a brand new section for animated wraps and it even says right now you have no animated wraps because I don't believe there are any in the game right now. However, since this section is here, it seems to point towards there being animated wraps, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, I did look through the battle pass in case there was maybe an animated wrap, and I don't think I found one. The only one that was kind of close was the gemstone, but that doesn't say it's animated, and I mean, it's not really animated. It kind of just reflects light, seemingly. So yeah, maybe we'll see some come into the item shop or stuff like that. Hard to say, but it's definitely something to take note of. Now, now with that, as I said, there is an animated uh, spray. So this kind of gives us an idea of like what would make an animated type item. So if you go to your battle pass and click on tier 90, you'll find the Lux spray. And as you can see, it's animated. So definitely pretty cool to see that. And it also says specifically that it is indeed animated. It even has that symbol below like the um, preview for it. So yeah, guys, for sure, some pretty interesting stuff right there. Now after that, guys, let's talk about a couple of things that are supposedly coming up soon. And you know what? The first of which, let's talk about the 
next update. Obviously, we had a huge update with Season 8 coming out, but as you guys know, the updates continue to be added to the game, and we do know that the next update will supposedly be the 8.01 update. Now, this info is from Sweden Music, who is one of the Epic Games employees. He works specifically more with, you know, sound design stuff, but he recently made a post about, like, audio improvements and stuff like that, and we'll go over the main things on that in just a sec, but the first thing I wanted to focus on is that in response to a question about when these improvements will be added in, he said, we hope to have this out in the 8.01 update. We'll let you know if the release for this changes. So what's interesting about that to me is that he says the 8.01 update, which does give us a little bit of info about, you know, the next update. Since 8.01 would probably most likely have to be the next update. I mean, I really doubt there would be like an 8.001. <laughs> but also with that, that kind of goes in line with like the previous smaller type of updates where it does go up just a 0.01. So probably not going to be like a huge update, but judging from the past, it's also not specifically a content update, it seems. But again, it's very early to tell things could change, but still wanted to bring that up. Now, moving on to like the audio improvements he talked about, I'll focus on like the more important things. But like, for example, here he says improvement to the standard AR sound so that it's not overbearing on the shooter, which as you guys know, if you've used the standard AR, it is a bit loud. It's a little bit hard to hear other things going on when you're, uh, you know, firing that weapon. So, you know, balancing that out is definitely a good change. Now, also with that, he says building peace destroy sound is louder when instigated by enemies, and that should basically help you out when, like, somebody breaks down a wall behind you. Personally, I haven't really experienced this that much. I guess I have a little bit, but that's going to be nice if you can better hear, like, a wall breaking behind you. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, this does make sense. I remember playing a game, and I was, like, in a one-by-one, and somebody had sniped through a window I had and hit the back wall, and I didn't even know it, like, got broken. So this will hopefully be a nice change. On top of that, the other thing that I think is important is that they're going to reduce the volume of the Season 8 Palm Tree Umbrella, which is definitely a welcome change. That umbrella is quite loud as it is now when you, like, open it, so I'm happy to see that for sure. After that, though, let's talk about a pretty cool piece of update news that is a little bit confusing at the same time, but, uh, you know, it's pretty cool overall. So yeah, guys, this one has to do with a specific skin in a sort of secret style that was added for this skin, but you can't get it right now, so nobody really knows how you're going to get it. Nobody knows if you're supposed to just have it unlocked already, but it is a new style, so I had to bring it up. But basically, guys, this has to do with the skin Waypoint. I have this one myself, and if you take a look at it, it is this one right here. And again, pretty cool skin overall, but if you take a look at it, if you have this skin in your locker, there is now an edit style option, and then if you go over to the second style, you will see that it says no mask, and I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It's a style of the normal one, but without like the headgear and mask and stuff like that. And you know, it's a cool little extra style for the skin. However, as you can probably tell, for some reason, it is locked. And at this moment, and at this moment, I do not really know why it is locked. Maybe it was locked on accident. Maybe there's going to be a challenge or something to unlock it. I don't know if there would be a challenge since, you know, when this has happened to other skins where they've gotten variants without like their face mask or stuff like that. We haven't had to have challenges. So as of right now, we don't really know. But either way, I thought you guys would like to hear about that. But keeping it going here with the next thing I want to go over. This one is definitely pretty important because it has to do with an umbrella that was shown, but you can't get right now. And I'm not talking about the palm leaf. We did talk about that in a previous video already. So again, not going to talk about it in this video. I do like that glider though, but I'm talking about a golden version of the umbrella that was apparently revealed in a recent Fortnite competition. That's right, guys. One of the players in that competition happened to be using this glider, which you know is fairly interesting. So basically the competition that I'm talking about about here was the ESL Fortnite one. I think it was called the ESL Catawice Royale. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, during that competition, one of the players had a golden version of the umbrella, which yeah, guys, that is definitely pretty interesting. We definitely got to talk about this a little bit. Oh, and also here's a little concept I made of what it could maybe look like in the locker compared to that image I just showed you. But you know, the quality of that image wasn't the best. So again, like this one isn't official, but I mean, a golden version of the umbrella is fairly easy to imagine. So yeah, we don't have a ton of info about this umbrella, but as you guys know, in the past, sometimes during these, you know, competitions and stuff, Fortnite has revealed skins and things, and I think they sometimes randomize people's skins. I don't know if that's what happened here, but I'm bringing it up because, well, it is a possibility, but if you remember, there was one competition where I think Tifu was using, like, a, one of the Halloween skins before it released, like, that night, so sometimes it seems like this maybe is used as a way to tease upcoming items, but obviously, we don't know if this item is coming out soon, and, and on top of that, it's an umbrella, which isn't an item that comes into the item shop.
top, at least I'm pretty sure about that. Usually, again, the different variants of the umbrella are given out for winning in, you know, different seasons. I mean, take a look at the palm leaf, for example, but we already got a season 8 umbrella, so could this be for getting, like, a bunch of wins? Maybe it's a glider for, like, being in a competition or something like that. Maybe it's for the winners, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with, like, pop-up cups and placing and stuff like that. I don't know, those are just ideas, but it is definitely something to take note of. So yeah, guys, if you have ideas about this, be sure to comment them down below. But let's keep it going here with another thing I want to go over, and that is about some limited time modes. You guys know that I love the LTMs and stuff like that, especially the ones with, like, where they switch up the loot pool and stuff like that. I really had a ton of fun in Solid Gold doing solo squads. But recently, we got some info about Unvaulted and Classic, which, um, Unvaulted was in the game recently. And as you guys may have noticed, it was quite a bit different from, like, the previous version that was out, you know, maybe a few weeks before that. I don't exactly know when the first version was out, but in the more recent version of it, I think it was almost all vaulted weapons, so there wasn't any, like, pumps or stuff like that. Now, personally, I was more of a fan of the original version, but according to Epic Dusty Devo, this was because they want to separate it from another mode, which is going to be called Classic, which he says will consist only of weapons and items that were available in the first couple seasons of the game. So yeah, guys, that is why the recent Unvaulted was a bit different, and I'm definitely excited for a Classic to come back, because I really enjoyed playing with that, like, original loot pool. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more update news videos coming out in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as, such as on the left, some other update news and stuff, and then on the right, my week one challenges guide. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.